Hi, my name is Tom Patton, and I'll be walking you through some scenarios that enable lightweight reporting with Microsoft Excel in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Before we get started with some demonstrations, I'd like to first uh, uh, let you know that there are some related videos on this topic. We're going to start here with lightweight reporting. There are also videos on using document templates, that's for uh, authoring statements or uh, letters that include business data from Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, updating data, so this would be like uh, formulating budgets or entering journal transactions, etc., journal entries uh, using Microsoft Excel, and then importing reference and master data using Microsoft Excel. Uh, these kind of build on one another, so just uh, so you're aware there are those other uh, videos available. I also want to place these uh, reporting uh, capabilities in context with the other investments we have made in Dynamics AX uh, 2012. Uh, around business intelligence and reporting. So that's our, our OLAP and SQL Server reporting services capabilities. Uh, that's really geared more towards your high data volume, um, specific layout. Uh, everybody looks at the same report kind of scenarios. Our support for Power Pivot uh, via the new OData protocol, uh, which allows for mashups and sort of slice and dice scenarios on data within Excel. And then the office add-ins, which we'll be looking at here, which is really enabling an ad hoc reporting experience uh, for individuals who are, uh, are provisioned to use the uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX. And in, inside of here, there are really two categories. One is the export to Excel capabilities, and the other is beginning with a query within Excel and then building up a report from that, uh, from that standpoint. So with that introduction, let's switch into um, Dynamics AX and take a look at some of these capabilities. The first demonstration will be about um, exporting to Excel. And uh, before we get started here, I want to point out a few uh, options that are relevant here. So if I go down to uh, Tools Options and look at the bottom of my general section, there are two uh, export to Excel options that are important. One is whether the workbook supports refresh. And the two options here are never or when possible. I'm going to set mine to when possible. That's different than the default of never uh, because I want to show you how you can build a, an exported worksheet that you can later refresh as the business data may change. If, uh, if you leave this uh, at its default of never, then the, um, the export will be static. Uh, it will reflect a point in time export at the time that you did the export. It won't refresh as the data changes. The other option here is the remote desktop um, um, manipulation. Uh, there are two options here, either uh, server Excel or client Excel. And what this means is if I'm accessing Dynamics AX through a remote desktop session, will I see that uh, exported spreadsheet show up in the client machine, the, the machine that initiated the remote desktop session, or in the server machine, the machine uh, on which I'm, I'm performing, uh, on which the, the actual rich client is running. So those are some settings to be aware of. Now let's take a look at the feature itself. Uh, in this scenario, I am looking at my opportunities list page. I don't have any filters or, or special sorts here, but if you kind of look around, um, in AX 2012, these list pages, if I look around at some of them, they're like miniature reports in and of themselves. So you see the, the information uh, listed here. You can apply filters and sorts and, and narrow this down to just the information you want to see. You see related information in the fact boxes and with, uh, with these callouts. They can show you uh, additional information uh, as to what's on the screen. But at some point, um, you may need to aggregate this information or format it in a way that is not available directly within the client. And for those scenarios, we've enhanced the export to Excel capability. So let me go back to my uh, All Opportunities list page and just push uh, Export to Excel so we can see what happens. Um, when I uh, use this functionality, uh, the same information that I see here uh, in my list page is shown here. Uh, in my workbook, so the same columns, the same sort order, any filters that would happen to be applied uh, are preserved there. But uh, we've made some enhancements. This, this kind of capability was there in Dynamics AX 2009, and in 2012 we've added some additional capabilities. And those capabilities are accessible here on the Dynamics AX tab within the ribbon interface. So let's take a look at uh, the field chooser here. 
I, uh, what, what, what we found is that lots of times people will be in the context of their application, they'll be looking uh, at, a, at a list page, and they'll do an export, but then the information that's exported doesn't quite meet the requirements of the task that they're trying to accomplish. So we've added this ability to extend the definition of the export after the export's been done. So here we see uh, various other fields that are included along with this export so that you can go ahead and, and choose new fields to include. For example, I may want to include the estimated revenue associated with each of these uh, opportunities. And I may also want to do some Excel calculations. So here I'm going to just add a probable revenue column as well. And what you'll see here is that we have a live feed into Dynamics AX wherein we're uh, retrieving that data in our own security context, so who, whichever user is executing this query will get the data back that's appropriate for them to see. And uh, we preserve all of the information and selections that you've made and filters that you've made here in the worksheet. So if I say that I want my probable revenue, for instance, to equal my estimated revenue times the probability of this deal actually coming to fruition, and I'll just divide that by 100 to uh, make the math correct, and if I uh, go ahead and just use standard Excel uh, formatting capabilities here to clean up my workbook a little bit. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm able to easily and quickly make a report here. Of course, I have all of Excel's capabilities at my, uh, at my disposal here. I can go ahead and, and, build, uh, and build, a, build a chart um, uh, of this information. For instance, I may want to slice out this uh, probable revenue that I, formula that I've just built um, by the name of the customer or by the status of the um, of the opportunity and of course those are all just uh, standard um, Excel capabilities but the key difference here is that next week uh, let's say if I want to have this same report I can go ahead and save this uh, spreadsheet uh, on Enterprise Portal in, share, in, in SharePoint, share this with my team, and then uh, as my opportunity pipeline changes over time, I'm able to open this back up, uh, just use the refresh button here to refresh the information, show me the latest business conditions uh, in Dynamics AX, and uh, retain all the formatting and pivot tables and whatnot that I might have built um, in the meantime. Another uh, feature I want to just uh, quickly touch on here is the ability to uh, filter this data down. So if we'd had filters applied, those would be uh, in the workbook already at the time of export, but you can add additional features here. So for instance, if I want to change uh, this to only show opportunities whose status is, say, either active or whose status is uh, postponed, I can go ahead and do that. And when I refresh my data, only those rows are returned. So as you can see, all of this is, is uh, live against the server. Uh, as conditions change, I can uh, refresh the data. I don't have to re reapply my formatting, and I've been able to build myself a nice little ad hoc report here uh, based on the context that I had within, within, the, uh, within the client here. So that's, uh, that's one ad hoc reporting scenario. I start within the client. I export that information out to Excel where I can then filter it, format it, and refresh it as times change. The other way to get access to data within uh, Microsoft Excel here is to originate the experience inside of AX itself, uh, inside of Excel itself. And that's where the add data button uh, comes into play. I say add data, and what you'll see here is a collection of data sources. Uh, the ones with the pencil, these are uh, web services that have been configured to work with the Office add-ins, and uh, the ones without pencils are, are, are queries. And what I'll do just uh, for this example is I'm just going to choose the sales quotation uh, query. And it's going to go out and find all the metadata associated with that query. And that's just a standard query in the AOT in Dynamics AX. So let's actually have a look at how that, uh, how that query ended up showing up in this list of data sources here. I'm just going to go back into the client <clears throat> and uh, go into the organization administration. And under document management, I look at document data sources. And in here, you can see that I have selected and activated a number of services and queries that are going to show up in, in, that, uh, 
in that uh, dialog that we saw in Excel. I can add uh, or delete or deactivate uh, these, uh, these queries and services as I see fit. I can secure them using the role-based uh, security capabilities of AX, so different audiences will see different data sources there. Uh, but as the end user, once I've made this selection of this data that I'm interested, then I'm able to, just like we saw with the, the export scenario, I'm able to um, um, incorporate information from, um, from Dynamics AX into the, into the worksheet here. And I'm going to show sort of two ways that you can, that you can uh, do this. The first is just a simple sort of report. And for this, let's just get the quotation ID, these uh, red symbols indicate that those are required fields that kind of draw your attention to those as being commonly used fields uh, in the in the query. We'll get the quotation, the name, and the uh, customer account uh, number. And uh, there's one more thing about these quotations that I want uh, want to receive, which is the uh, the amount of the quotation. That is a um, actually a, a calculated uh, amount that is is computed using a a display method in uh, in the query. And by default, what we do is we only show those fields that are exposed in the query. So again, if I go back into uh, Dynamics AX and open up the developer workspace and I look at my queries here and I look at sales quotation, sales quote, this is a custom query I built. I've, uh, you know, sort of narrowed down the field selection to those those fields I think are relevant to a, a user who, are, who would be performing this, uh, this action. Um, here I've got this structure of the, of the sales quotation table uh, containing a set of lines. And uh, if I uh, move back here, you'll see uh, that, that same structure here uh, and that same field selection. But what I want to include is, is, the, is the quotation amount. So let's uh, see how we can go about doing that. If I right click on the root data source, the sales quotation, and click properties, you'll see some options here. And one of them is to show calculated fields. This is turned off by default, but when you turn it on, you'll see a number of additional fields. And these are all of the um, display or edit methods that are on the underlying tables that are at, uh, used in the query. And now I can have access to, to these co computed columns, things like the total invoice amount. So let's drag this onto our worksheet. And uh, this interface is a modal interface. So right now, you'll see that the refresh all button is grayed out. Um, that's because the field chooser is open. When I close the field chooser, I no longer can add fields or manipulate the structure of this table, but I can now refresh my data and, and, and play, with, play with the data. So here I see um, I've got the quote number, the name, the account, and, and the total amount. I uh, also wanted to point out that, see, if, if I mouse through these columns, you see how name uh, name here has has been become highlighted, and when I move over to customer account, it becomes highlighted. So the add-in uh, keeps track of where the relationships are between your workbook and the and the information that's that's in this um, uh, field chooser. Uh, it doesn't depend on these column names. If I want to put uh, here as as quote uh, quoted amount or uh, rename this column, uh, you can see that when I click on here, it's still associated. Uh, with that, with that uh, field. So again, let's let's do a data refresh, and what we can see here is we've got 71 uh, lines of, of of quote information. But also, if we look at the structure here, the structure of many business documents is more complicated than just a simple list. And in this case, our sales quotations uh, contain sales lines. So let's add some fields uh, from from the line. Let's add. Uh, you, if you stop and mouse over, you see how you can see the uh, underlying AOT names here. So this is quantity ordered versus sales quantity. This would be a good uh, label change to make, but I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, take my uh, quantity ordered here. Oops, just uh, delete that column. And then uh, also add my net amount uh, on the line. And if I add in my item number here. I'm going to actually scooch this in here, and I believe I have the text of that item here. Now I'm going to close the field chooser and refresh my new uh, my new view. And uh, what you'll see is that now the data have changed considerably. Uh, now instead of having 71 lines, I've got 
86 lines. And the reason for this is that many of these quotes have, uh, have multiple uh, lines in them. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, so now I've got more lines being returned than when I had only had fields from the header uh, uh, present there. So again, like we saw with the, with the previous demonstration in the export scenario, I'm of course uh, at liberty to uh, use uh, conventional Excel capabilities, uh, insert pivot tables, do, do formatting and whatnot, and uh, uh, apply filters, and uh, save this off onto SharePoint or on, onto my local uh, storage where I can then uh, reopen this report at a later date refresh the data and see the latest uh, latest information here on, on quotations. So uh, just to briefly recap, <clears throat> we looked at uh, uh, two mechanisms. One, uh, one was our, our export scenario and one was originated within the Excel workbook itself. And in either of these cases, we're able to securely retrieve the data, identify which columns uh, we, we wish to include in the workbook, apply filters, and uh, refresh this as the conditions change, enabling users to use a tool that they're familiar with for, for formatting and for um, building charts and pivots and all that sort of stuff, while still providing them the uh, secure access to the real-time data in Dynamics uh, AX 2012.